Hey guys, welcome. My name is Ray, and this is my show. I am going to venture down the Android path. I'm going to start developing Android tutorials. So let's get started. In order to get started, you need the Android SDK. So the best place to get the Android SDK is to get to the developers Android.com SDK index. You can find this by just typing Android SDK into a Google search engine and probably the first selection will be this one. This is what, the, what it looks like at the top of the page. And I'm going to download this particular file for 32-bit or 64-bit. I have a 32-bit machine, but again, it really didn't matter because it's either or. We'll find out later that sometimes we need one or the other, but not right now. So, to download this, one of the things I can do is I can go into, let me go into my downloads folder first. I'm going to download it directly from the command line, and if you haven't seen this trick, it's very simple. It's called wget or webget, and what it takes as an argument is the source where the source file is. So, um, sorry, if I like copy, um, where is it? Copy link location, I guess we'll do. Come over here, let's maximize this again, and paste. I can we get that. Now, sometimes this doesn't work because you'll end up with a redirect, and the redirect we get doesn't really follow through. But if this is the hard location of the file, this is a pretty good method to get it. And it's going to take about, what, one minute, 50 seconds to download it. So, in the instance of time, and I only have 10 minutes for a YouTube video, I'm going to pause it and try to recapture a half a minute. Okay, now the file is completely downloaded, and we've saved ourselves 30 seconds in the process. What I normally like to do is I like to create a folder that I put in all my, um, how shall I say, um, programs that I install myself that I downloaded from the web. Unlike the AppGet, which is the Linux utility that installs the applications most likely in the var directory. I, since I'm doing this manually, I like to know where my stuff is or where my folders are. So I make a directory called programs and hence I put in all my um, programs that that I've downloaded from the internet. And this is one of them. So I'm making a directory. And it's not mk, it's mk yeah, make a directory. Okay. And we will move. Oh, we haven't even in, in zipped it. So what we want to do, it was a tar, the tar g zip. We want to untar it, tar this file. So we're going to untar and we're going to extract um, zip to a folder. Um, and the file is Android. There it is. That should work. And it does. I could have used the V option to show all that stuff scrolling, but I didn't. Now I will move it. Move Android. And I think, yeah, okay. To programs. Okay very good and we will now go there just to get started so this is the only thing that's in my programs directory right now I'll go into it and here we have the tools so if we go to the tools coming to an end we can, oops, yes, <laughs> let's clear all that stuff out. There are certain tools that, that are pretty cool. Android is the one that I'll be using, just to show that this works. DDMS is the debug manager, uh, whatnot. Trace view, 
is a pretty cool tool. Monkey Runner. But anyway, let's just try out Android. And to run this, the Android, I guess the best way to do it from the command line is to use the dot forward slash because it is a, I guess, a shell script or a binary. And it tells you that it's missing platform tools, which is okay. And it suggests what you should install dot dot. If you um, install the nine packages, it'll take some time. So I'm going to leave this video with the install nine packages. I'll catch you next time when we install the Eclipse ADK, ADT. And I accept all, accept the license agreement. You guys are my witness. So if I'm in the next Caterpillar movie, it's because I didn't read it. Talk with you later. Peace.